is Jason with Chicago News. The CX-5 has been one of the most important cars for Mazda over the years. And for 2017, there's an all new one. Let's check it out. The CX-5 was the first car to express Mazda's new design language. And this new CX-5 expresses it even better. It's a little bit more refined looking. They've added this really nice looking chrome accent here. The materials that are chosen are nicer. And even though this is basically the same shape as the previous CX-5, it's a lot nicer looking and more refined. One of the things that made the original CX-5 so great was just how nimble it was. But that came at a price where the chassis was a little bit too stiff. There was a lot of noise and vibration that came through the cabin. So you kind of had to choose whether you wanted the fun to drive one or some of the competitors which were a little bit more comfortable. Now we're driving over some really bumpy Chicago roads right now and you can tell Mazda's really worked on that one aspect. They've added a lot of sound deadening material and retuned the suspension so that it, over these kinds of city bumps it feels a lot more composed. Of course, whenever a car gets a little bit more comfortable and more compliant over bumps, you might worry about the handling suffering, but in this case, they've managed to keep the sharp handling and the incredible turn in. This really feels a lot more like driving a performance sedan or even a sports car than it does driving a crossover or a CUV. One of the benefits of this Skyactiv powertrain, however, is efficiency. And this is rated at 23 city, 29 highway, which for a CUV is excellent, but it's also even better considering there's no batteries, there's no turbos, there's no other trickery going on. This is just a pure normally aspirated engine that's engineered really well. In addition to smoothing out the ride and quieting the interior, there's a lot better materials everywhere as well. You've got this leather-like material on the dash with some hand-looking stitching on the door panels as well. It's just a lot more refined in here. It's got a more luxury feel and for $33,000, our test car has basically every option you can get. It really represents an incredible value. There's certainly no shortage of competitors in this compact CUV class, but consistently the CX-5 has been at the top of that. As opposed to designing an all new vehicle, Mazda took the chassis of the already great CX-5 and improved upon it. I think that was a smart move considering how good the first version was. Another of the changes for the new model is this floating screen up in the center here. It used to be integrated more in the dashboard. Touch screen is great when you're standing still, but it's a little far away for normal driving, even with my long arms. And Mazda wants you to use this center control system here with the control knob and buttons and volume knob that are in the center here. Again, this Grand Touring test model that we have is outfitted with every option, including the Bose audio system, which they've now moved the tweeters up onto the A-pillars here with a very nice looking grille. And overall, it's a really good audio system. Again, Bose isn't necessarily the best on the market, but at a value point like you get with this car, it's a fantastic audio system. There's a full suite of safety features here as well. Mazda's really done a good job. It's got lane assist, emergency braking, radar cruise control, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitors, all those active safety features that are really becoming a standard. However, when you can get them in a vehicle that's this good at this price, it's something to take note of. One of Mazda's core goals is to try to put a lot of technology into their vehicles and they've been using this heads up display for a couple years, but it used to have a plastic screen that would stick up and project on wasn't the best looking device. Now you've got a proper heads up display. It projects onto the windshield. It's fully adjustable for size and brightness. And it's a really fantastic display. It gives you warnings when there are traffic signals coming. It looks ahead basically with its cameras and can identify traffic signs and displays those there. It'll display the speed limit through the GPS system so you can compare. Lots of great information right there on the windshield. There's really not much to say about the space that's available inside here. It's basically the same as just about anything in the CUV class. There's tons of rear passenger room and cargo space, not to mention seats that fold down. Again, overall, this is a vehicle that you can use every day, carry as many people as you want, and carry all the things that you need as well. Ever since it came out, the CX-5 has sat at the top of the compact CUV class. And for 2017, Mazda's added a level of luxury and sophistication 
without hurting the fun to drive nature that makes it truly great. With better materials and sound and vibration insulation, this is just a better experience overall.